In this presentation, we will take a look at file systems, files, and folders. What exactly is a file system? A file system is a method or structure used by an operating system to organize, store, and retrieve files on a storage device such as a hard drive or solid state drive. It defines how files are named, organized into directories, also called folders, and stored on the storage media. Directories can have a hierarchical structure, meaning that they can contain other directories within them. This allows for the creation of a directory tree, where directories, or folders, and subdirectories, or subfolders, are organized in a nested manner. For instance, within the documents folder, you might have subfolders like work, personal, and projects, each containing relevant files. A file is a collection of data or information that is stored on a storage device. It can represent various types of content, such as documents, images, videos, programs, or system configuration files. Files are typically identified by a name and have associated attributes like size, permissions, and creation or modification dates. They also have specific endings that specify what type of file it is. Examples are .txt.pdf or .jpeg. Directories, folders, are used to organize and group related files. They provide a hierarchical structure where files and subdirectories can be stored. Directories can contain files, other directories, or a combination of both. This hierarchical arrangement forms a tree-like structure, starting from a root directory and branching out into subdirectories. The root directory is the highest level directory, or the starting point of the file system hierarchy. It is denoted by a forward slash in Unix-like systems, such as Mac and Linux, and by a drive letter followed by a colon in Windows systems. For example, see colon. Here's an example in Windows, and how it can look in Mac OS. A file path is the unique location or address of a file within the file system hierarchy. It specifies the sequence of directories needed to navigate to the specific file. File paths can be expressed using absolute paths, starting from the root directory, or relative paths, starting from the current directory. Here is an example of what a file path can look like. The interface you interact with on your computer, which might seem invisible at first, is actually a reflection of the underlying file structure. Every action you perform, such as double-clicking to open a folder, navigates you through this structure. For instance, when your mouse hovers over on the desktop at start in the context of the file system, you're located at C slash username slash username slash desktop on Windows. Similarly, when you open your downloads folder, you're navigating to see slash users slash your username slash downloads. There are absolute paths and relative paths. When using an absolute path, the file path starts from the root directory and specifies the complete directory structure needed to navigate to the desired file. The relative path is dependent on what folder you are currently in, such as for example c slash user slash username slash downloads. Each file in a file system has associated attributes that provide information about the file, such as its size, permissions, ownership, creation, and modification timestamps, and file type. Attributes determine how the file can be accessed, modified, or executed. File systems manage how files are stored and organized on a storage media, such as a hard drive, they define methods for allocating space to store file data and metadata. It makes sure that files are stored efficiently and can be quickly found and retrieved when needed. File systems maintain metadata, which is information about files and directories to facilitate efficient file access and management. Metadata includes details like file names, file sizes, file permissions, timestamps, and directory structures. 
It helps the operating system locate and retrieve files quickly. There are various types of file systems, each with its own features, performance characteristics, and limitations. Some commonly used file systems include FAT32 NTFS, used in Windows APFS, used in Mac, EXT4, used in Linux, and many more. File systems and their structure play a crucial role in managing and organizing data on storage devices. They provide a hierarchical organization of files and directories, define file attributes and metadata, and handle storage allocation and retrieval. This has been a presentation about something you've probably worked with many times before, files, folders, and file systems. Hopefully you've gained a better understanding on how to work with these structures when coding. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.